why the heck do I take so long to post videos? I'm going to be posting videos on here more often. I'm happy to announce that one iconic backer video will be delivered once every four days. Well, this is embarrassing. It's been 279 days since I last made a YouTube video. And that's pretty crazy, considering that since then, I've rented a warship, fired a gunship, and made a lot of friend... ships. Met Gary V and a lot more famous people. Hired more people. No fuck, no, we don't give a fuck, motherfuck, no. Awesome people. So as it stands, since my accident, I've grown my company over 300%, become one of the top companies in our industry, traveled with my best friends, and yet I still had one major problem. I'm still not proud. It's hard when people look at you and they're like, you are the best at what you do. You're an expert and I'm proud of you. And I, I don't know what that feels like. You know, like I, I want to be as proud of me as you are, John. Mm. And I, I, I don't know what that feels like. When I was 10, all I ever wanted to do was be like Freddie. No, not that one. Freddie Wong, the coolest and greatest YouTuber of all time. In a better sense, I just wanted to make YouTube videos that told great stories. And that was an awesome dream until I realized most YouTubers are broke. So I made a new dream. Start a business, make a ton of money, fire myself, make YouTube videos. And three years ago, I started that dream. It was actually five years ago, wasn't it? So five years ago, I started that dream. My plan was working. $100,000! But I quickly realized when you're building a company, you have no time to edit. I needed to hire an editor, so I got this guy. Wow, damn, he's so hot. Damn. Oh, yeah. damn. 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 We started making videos and life was good. Until I got too caught up in the business side of things and I needed someone who can actually help me shoot content whilst I'm growing the business. I needed a videographer. So first, I got one, then I got two. And now I've got like six. Now here I am, five years into my plan. I've got four full-time editors, six full-time videographers, a company that allows me to travel around the world wherever I want, but you know what I don't have? The one thing I signed up to do all of this for. A YouTube channel. Now don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful for everything I have. The SBA says it takes the average business owner five years to be profitable, and I did it in two, with a business that allows me to do what I love best, entertaining and enriching people. I've got incredible clients, great friends, and an equally amazing team. But it's made me realize something. Most people will create the forever finish line. What I mean by that is that we are the primary reason we delay our goals. Here's an example. A mentor of mine once said, when my business makes $100,000 a month, I'll buy a Ferrari. And after some time, his business did end up getting to 100K a month. But instead of getting that Ferrari, he said, well, 100K is great, but after tax, it's really 60, and then payroll, it's 40, and then blah, 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 blah. Until eventually he said, I know, I'll just move back the finish line to $150,000 a month, and then I'll get the Ferrari. Always delaying the result. Here we are, three years later, half a million dollars a month, and still no Ferrari. Because when we get close to that line, we're usually too scared to finally cross it, to feel what it feels like to actually indulge in the result of our hard work. Which is why, despite the success, the friends, the relationships I've made along the way, none of this was what I actually wanted when I signed up for this. And so, at the end of the journey, it just feels a bit disappointing. But today we're changing all of that. Now I've used every excuse in the book to keep that finish line always in front of me. My events, work is complicated, we're in growth mode, I don't have time, I'm too tired, I've got a headache, too many distractions. Keyword on the last one, distractions. I needed a way to stop myself from getting distracted and only focus on the one thing I truly wanted to do, make great content. So, I packed up my entire bag, sold everything I owned and moved into a third world country. So here we are at my new Colombian penthouse, an incubator for content creation and a room for me to play, learn, and ultimately make some freaking videos. To make sure this is the last I'm back video that I ever make, I decided to make sure I brought an accountability partner to make it happen. So I brought this guy. Can we even afford this penthouse? <laughs> no. 
You see, I left everything behind in Florida. My family, my friends, my dog, all of that in pursuit of this dream, the dream of making YouTube videos and growing myself as a content creator. Ultimately, I'm hoping that this decision will push me in the direction necessary to prove to myself that being a content creator full-time is something that was always destined for me, or we're gonna run out of money in four months and I'm gonna learn how failure feels. Damn. But what kind of content are you even gonna post? Great question, Dale. And truthfully, as I've thought about it more and more, I've realized that I don't think anyone wants another entrepreneur channel that says, top five side hustles to start to make 10K a month in 2023, right? I'm just gonna make things that I feel passionate about. Maybe it's cinema, filmmaking, AI, events, business. Who knows, just whatever comes off the dome, we're gonna put it together and hopefully it resonates with you guys. We might even make some behind the scenes along the way. Whoa. Everything you just said sounds like a whole lot of editing. <laughs> Dale, by the time I'm done with you, China's gonna have a new role model for sweatshops. <laughs> now, while there's gonna be a variety of content here, they're all gonna be based around one mission. A mission that we've been following at Clever here for the past five years, which is simply fail harder. Over the last five years, we had the unique opportunity to be in so many fires. Guess what else is here? Our fucking Tesla. <laughs> Because she's not going nowhere. Will not be me, Ray. Mom, what do I do? He's looking at me. Do I spray him or something? So many situations that tested us, pushed us to the limit, and ultimately allowed us to grow to the size and scale that we have so far because of them. And it's all because we welcomed failure wholeheartedly and we said, let's do it. And while we've had that mindset inside of our business, we haven't really shared that same mindset in my content creation. And I think that's personally because I was scared. I was scared that maybe I was gonna disappoint the 10 year old version of me. Maybe everyone's gonna watch my videos and hate them. Maybe no one's even gonna care to watch them in the first place. But truthfully, we're never gonna know unless we try to fail. And so that's why this year our mission is to fail harder. So I see this working out two ways. Either we're gonna go all in on content creation and create a channel that people enjoy watching, coming home to, and getting entertained by every single week, or B, nobody's gonna watch our videos. I'm probably gonna get a couple letters in the mail telling me how much I suck, and C, we're gonna run out of money and be back in Florida asking for change in the corner here in four months. That was part of the plan? Of course not, Dale. Either way, I'm back for the last time. So if you've been watching this channel from the beginning, I wanna applaud you and say thank you so much for being with us from the get-go. Thanks for supporting me, but no matter how many times I said we're back. Um, and if you're new here, well, strap in, get ready. Things are about to get a hell of a lot more spicy.